Well, now, really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, you see, we don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. And uh, it is, goes back, as a matter of fact, to extremely fundamental things. That there is always a curious tie at some point between the fall and the creation. Taking this ghastly risk uh, is the condition of there being life. You see, for all, the life is an, an act of faith and an act of gamble. The moment you take a step, you do so on an act of faith because you don't really know that the floor is not going to give under your feet. The moment you take a journey, what an act of faith. The moment you enter into any kind of human undertaking in relationship, what an act of faith. You've given yourself up. But this is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender. See, and love is an act of surrender to another person. Total abandonment. I give myself. Take me, do anything you like. take Alexa to be your wife. Alexa, do you take Matt to be your husband, to live together in matrimony, to love her, to honor him, to comfort him, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for so long as you both shall live? I do. I do. So, that's quite mad, because you see, it's letting things get out of control. All sensible people keep things in control. You two are the real, true meaning of love. I cannot even begin to imagine a man more perfect and deserving than you to marry my sister. So, just remember, a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, but always with the same person. Actually, therefore, the, the, the course of wisdom, what is really sensible, uh, is to let go, uh, is to commit oneself, to give oneself up, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies sanity. By the virtue and authority vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>